Engagers, also known as attachments or buttons, are temporary composite resin bumps that are bonded to the teeth. The aligners grip the engagers like handles to gain leverage and achieve difficult tooth movements like rotations and extrusions. If engagers are scheduled for a patient's treatment, it'll be indicated on the treatment setup with a blue square. In subsequent steps, the existing engager will be indicated by a gray square. When it's time to remove an engager, the gray square will be replaced with a black X. Some providers prefer to trim away the unnecessary sections of the template before setting engagers. This can make it easier to place and remove. To place engagers on a patient's teeth, you'll need a scaler, an engager template, a light curing gun, acid etch, paste type composite, flowable composite, and a bonding agent. You may also want to coat the engager voids with petroleum jelly to make them easier to remove. Use the acid to etch the tooth wherever engagers will be bonded to the teeth. Don't etch the entire facial side of the tooth. Thoroughly rinse off the acid. We recommend using low heat to dry the tooth. Fill the engager voids about two-thirds full with the paste-type composite first, and then top off the final third with flowable composite. Apply the bonding agent to the etched tooth. Place the template back on the patient's teeth and light cure the composite inside the template. Finally, remove the template and clear off any extra flashing material with your scaler. If you used petroleum jelly, this will help to ensure that none of the composite is left in the engager void. Your final result should look something like this. Your patient should try on their new set of aligners at this point. Check the fit of the aligners to ensure that everything is seated properly. If you notice a gap between the aligner and the incisal edge of the tooth, check your treatment plan to see whether that tooth is extruding. If it is, that gap should close by the time your patient is done wearing that step. <laughs>